How do we screw up our own magic? So let's start with a phrase here. Where intention goes, energy flows. So I thought I'd start off with that little tidbit. So think about that for a second. Magic is guided by our intention. When we perform a ritual for whatever your goal is, we are guided by what we want. It guides our symbolism. It guides the entities that we work with. It guides the type of energy that we want to raise. And it aims our magic at a target. Is that target the exact thing that we are looking for? And are we going to screw it up along the way? So let's talk about a couple of things that can mess our magic up. The first thing that comes to my mind is doubt. So when we start working with magic, we are going to have doubts. We are going to wonder if this thing that we're doing that's new is actually going to work. We are wondering about how long it is going to take. We are wondering if we are doing everything right, if we are saying everything right. Could we have added more? Could we have done less? Could it have been more simple? Should we have made it more complicated? You're going to have a lot of this stuff going around in your mind, probably. And I mean, if you don't, then you're a seasoned practitioner and stuff. But this should really still be a good thing for people and from beginners to people who have, who have done it for a long time to hear. So... Have you ever done something where you're nervous about it the entire time and you're worried about screwing up and then you screw it up? That same kind of thing can happen with magic because if we're aiming for a goal and it takes a little while for us to get there, like if we're building a skill or we're trying to acquire something that is going to take mundane action to get us there, then when you make that spell work and you make it happen and you do the ritual, your energy is connecting you from A to B. Every time that you have self-doubt or you're wondering about it, you are taking away the energy that you sent off. It's like you're tapping into the energetic current and you're muddying it up. When you cast a spell for um, anything, think of it as like a clean flowing stream. Every time you think about it or you worry about it or you wonder about it, then you're muddying the waters. That's why, you know, to know, to will, to dare, and to be silent. I have videos on all four of those if you guys want to check those out. Those are very, very important. When you are done with a ritual, let it be done. Don't think about it. Still go towards your goal, but don't think about like, man, it's, it's been two days. What's up? It's been two weeks. What's up? Should I have done that other thing? Da, da, da. Here, maybe I should worry about it and like talk to my friends about it. Maybe I should like, you know, make a post on a, on a paganism Reddit and ask if I did it right. All this stuff, you're muddying it up. When you're talking about it, you're taking away energy from it because you're using your energy to talk about it. So there's that then you could have deep-seated doubts or deep-seated thoughts of, like, do I really deserve this thing that I'm asking for? Should I really be going for it? Should Do I deserve less than this? Do I deserve more than this? If you think about those kinds of things, or if you really got to get to know yourself when you work with magic, because even all the subconscious stuff that's going on, that's your energy thinking about it. And that energy is going towards that rather than your goal. So if you are aiming towards something, you really got to go with it and even fake it till you make it. Make mantras, talk to, your, you know, talk to yourself about this stuff, even put up little reminders and notes and things that you deserve whatever it is, right? Because if you think that you deserve less, the magic is going to manifest less. If you don't think that you are capable of gaining something, no matter how many spells you do, you're not going to gain it. So when you walk into that ritual chamber, you know that when you do your spell for blank, you are going to get blank no ifs, ands, or buts. And then you walk the walk and you talk the talk because what you have is already yours. You just got to go from the present to that future that has it. So, you know, we anytime that you aim towards something, you're headed towards it. But when you decide to change course whether willingly or unwillingly, consciously or subconsciously, you're going to change your direction. It's like having a GPS to somewhere, and then you decide to take some different routes or whatever, because you think that, you know, there's a traffic jam up ahead, and you want to get off of this exit and maybe try to get around it. No crap, now you're lost. It's kind of the same thing. Hopefully these analogies work for you guys. 
Now, if you find that the self-doubt and these different bad thoughts and whatever don't go away and they're nagging you about that particular issue, reinforce your desire to have that particular thing you did a spell for by doing that spell over again. Do it over again and again and again. The more that you are repeating a particular spell, you are adding more juice to the tank. You are filling up your gas tank more. You are honing in your mind to, I want that thing. Yeah, but maybe, no, I want that thing. Oh, but I kind of feel crappy. Nope, I want that thing. Or what if I, nope, I'm going to get that thing. Rep repetitive spell work really helps. And how do we learn new things? How do we change ourselves? How do we change ourselves for the better? We do these things through repetitive action. Anytime you are learning a new habit, even if it is a new habit of thinking or a new habit of doing something, repetition makes proficiency. You know, not practice makes perfect, practice makes proficiency. And so when we constantly do spells towards the same thing, we are reinforcing it. So there are plenty of times when you can do a spell and boom, it happens. But the, that's where the mundane action comes in to keep that thing. If you do a spell for a job, boom, great, you got it. Now you got to keep working at that job to keep it. If you do a spell to change a behavior, boom, that change there is instantaneous. But you have to maintain it because you can easily change your mind and go back to the old behavior. You can do spells to attract different things. And your doubt that you will attract that thing is not going to help you attract that thing. So really, the biggest roadblocks, we get in our own way through our own negative thinking and our own doubts about whether or not we actually should get what we want. The thing about magic that you have to understand is you as a magician, a witch, what have you, you take on the idea that this universe around you is because of you. You manifest everything that happens to you. You are in control of all of these different things. You can shape your world as you see fit. Magic is the ability to change reality in accordance with will. So you change your reality in accordance with your will. The question is, what really is your will? What really do you desire? Get that down. Be, you got to come to the understanding that you can have what you want. And no one else has to stand in your way. So you have to get out of your own way. There we go. Good hunting. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlists, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpamancy, a playlist on my books, the Elements, Stones, the Theories That Govern Magic, and the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics, and The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com. And you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.